evening from Bangkok, it's Riemann Roshan with what's ahead at the AFC Under-23 Championship. Group B and Group C will continue their fight in terms of finding out who makes it into the quarterfinals. And Group C will find out their fate first. The kickoff is at 5.15pm local time for both games. And over here at the Thammasat Stadium, it's Korea Republic versus Uzbekistan. Korea, of course, top of the table, Roshan. Um, of course, they would want to get maximum points in this game. And I guess the only problem for the coach would be uh, starting 11. Like, who does he pick? Because all of them have delivered. As you've seen yeah. in the previous two games, there was a major overhaul in the players and they all did well. It's wonderful for the coach. I mean, we've spoken about the strength of the squad, the players that he has in terms of being able to change it around, still maintaining a certain level of quality and experience in that side. So, you know, he's been blessed with, uh, with uh, a good squad, really good players in there. He's made, again, six changes to the starting lineup for this game against uh, Uzbekistan. So there's always going to be fresh legs for uh, Korea Republic uh, in their matches and it's going to benefit them in the latter stages of the competition as well. If I run through the six changes very quickly, uh, Kang Yoon Seong comes in, Kim Dong Hyun is in as well, Kim Jae Woo, uh, Um Won Sang, Oh Se Hoon comes in up front for them and uh, Yoon Jong Gyu comes in. So some changes in those defensive positions, some in, these, uh, uh, in midfield, in the attacking areas. So just to give the side a, a nice balance uh, in this game there. But <laughs> Kim Ang has spoken about having that ability to change it around and still his players have delivered. So you know he's been quite happy with this lovely selection headache uh, yeah. that he's got. Okay, and for the reigning champions, all they need is a draw here uh, to proceed into the final mm. eight. Um, they started off a little bit slow, but then, you know, with the last game against China, yes. they did pretty well. That should give them a confidence boost. Yeah, certainly. And they've not made any changes to the starting lineup. And it's something that I uh, expected when we ran through our previews uh, of today's uh, matches in the group. Uh, didn't expect them to make any changes, and they certainly haven't. I think, you know, Drulovic has been uh, quite happy with the way the game has developed. Mm -hmm. Uh, over the last two matches, he said, you know, they, they weren't really at their best against Iran. He was happy in certain instances, right. uh, but generally, overall, they didn't create too many opportunities. Uh, a much better performance in their second game, uh, creating chances, scoring those goals, picking up uh, an important three points. It puts them in a good position here. Right. Uh, so, no changes to their lineup, still plenty of experience uh, in that side mm -hmm. uh, and plenty of quality in there. I'm expecting a really good, good match between uh, two of uh, Asia's big uh, nations. Right. And in the simultaneous kickoff over at Songkla, um, Iran, they need Uzbekistan to lose and for them to win this game against China. Yep. Um, what's been said about their fitness levels is that, you know, they've started off pretty well in games, but then progressively it's dipped yeah. their performance. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, there have been certain lapses in concentration at times in certain um, moments in their games, Iran, in this competition. Uh, I was impressed with their first match day against Uzbekistan. Again, I thought they were quite unfortunate not to put away the opportunities. They could have won that one. Okay, they picked up a, a point in the end. Yeah. And then in that second game against Korea Republic, a much better second half performance in there. Again, still that dip in concentration, dip in performance towards the end of the first half. It's something that really hurt them uh, in that game. So yes, you know, coming into this one against China, I think, you know, the positive side is that they'll be looking at this and thinking, Okay, China perhaps the weaker side in the group at the moment and this is our chance, this is our opportunity uh, to finally, hopefully, for their sake, put away the opportunities that they do create because it's a side that will fight. They've got that physicality in there but they've also got uh, good attacking options uh, in that squad. Yeah. So they made three changes uh, to this game. Uh, some in, again, uh, in with that spine of the squad. There's some in midfield, some in those attacking areas uh, which hopefully will give them some fresher legs. So Jai comes in back to the starting lineup and Hopefully, he'll be able to atone for his uh, miss in that first game against Uzbekistan. And speaking of China, they've not picked up any points in this competition. Um, how do you think they'll bounce back in this game, you know, just for some form of redemption? Uh, absolutely. I think it's just about, obviously, just pride for, for China here. You know, it's been a disappointing campaign for them. Um, the coach, Hao Wei, has spoken about losing Zhang Yuning and how big an impact it, it has uh, had on their preparation. But, okay, it's one player. They still got a squad in there that's got Correct. to perform a little bit better. Yeah. I think overall, it's just a matter of, of the quality that's been lacking from, uh, from China. Uh, but hopefully this last game, they'll be able to go out with a bang. They made four changes to their starting lineup. Some fresh legs again coming in, players being given an opportunity to show us what they've got. Uh, so hopefully they'll be able to go out and uh, put in a really good performance in the final game of the competition before uh, going out and maybe cause Iran some issues. All right, thanks for that, Roshan. Both games in Group C once again will kick off at 5.15 p.m. local time and we will be back later on with the review and results. Until then, enjoy the games.